Question 1. What are NOSQLL databases? What are the different types of NOSQL databases? Answer. A NOSQL database provides a mechanism for storage and retrieval of data that is modeled in means other than the tabular relations used in relational databases, like SQL, Oracle, ETC. Types of NOSQL databases, O document oriented, O key value, O graph, O column oriented. Question 2. What kind of NOSQL database MongoDB is? Answer. MongoDB is a document-oriented database. It stores data in the form of BSON structure-based documents. These documents are stored in a collection. Question 3. Which are the most important features of MongoDB? Answer. O flexible data model in form of documents. O agile and highly scalable database. O faster than traditional databases. O expressive query language. Question 4. What is a namespace in MongoDB? Answer. A namespace is the concatenation of the database name and collection name, for e.g. school.students with school as the database and students as the collection. Question 5. Which all languages can be used with MongoDB? Answer. Currently, MongoDB provides official driver support for C, C++, C Sharp, Java, Node, JS, Perl, PHP, Python, Ruby, Scala, Go and Erlang. MongoDB can easily be used with any of these languages. There are some other community supported drivers too but the above mentioned ones are officially provided by MongoDB. Question 6. Compare SQL databases and MongoDB at a high level? Answer. SQL databases store data in form of tables, rows, columns and records. This data is stored in a predefined data model which is not very much flexible for today's real-world highly growing applications. MongoDB in contrast uses a flexible structure which can be easily modified and extended. Question 7. How is MongoDB better than other SQL databases? Answer. MongoDB allows a highly flexible and scalable document structure, for e.g. one data document in MongoDB can have 5 columns and the other one in the same collection can have 10 columns. Also, MongoDB database are faster as compared to SQL databases due to efficient indexing and storage techniques. Question 8. Compare MongoDB and CouchDB at high level? Answer. Although both of these databases are document-oriented, MongoDB is a better choice for applications which need dynamic queries and good performance on a very big database. On the other side, CouchDB is better used for applications with occasionally changing queries and predefined queries. Question 9. How can you achieve primary key, foreign key relationships in MongoDB? Answer. By default MongoDB does not support such primary key, foreign key relationships. However, we can achieve this concept by embedding one document inside another. For example, an address document can be embedded inside customer document. Question 10. Does MongoDB need a lot of RAM? Answer. No MongoDB can be run even on a small amount of RAM. MongoDB dynamically allocates and deallocates RAM based on the requirements of other processes. Question 11. Does MongoDB pushes the writes to disk immediately or lazily? Answer. MongoDB pushes the data to disk lazily. It updates the immediately written to the journal but writing the data from journal to disk happens lazily. Question 12. Explain the structure of objected in MongoDB. Answer. Objected is a 12-byte BSON type with 04 bytes value representing seconds 03-byte machine identifier 02-byte process id 03-byte counter. Question 13. What are indexes in MongoDB? Answer. Indexers support the efficient execution of queries in MongoDB. Without indexers, MongoDB must perform a collection scan, i.e. scan every document in a collection, to select those documents that match the query statement. If an appropriate index exists for a query, MongoDB can use the index to limit the number of documents it must inspect. Question 14. What is a covered query in MongoDB? Answer. A covered query is the one in which, fields used in the query are part of an index used in the query, and the fields returned in the results are in the same index. 
Question 15. Why is a covered query important? Answer. Since all the fields are covered in the index itself, MongoDB can match the query condition as well as return the result fields using the same index without looking inside the documents. Since indexes are stored in RAM or sequentially located on disk, such access is a lot faster. Question 16. At what interval does MongoDB write updates to the disk? Answer. By default configuration, MongoDB writes updates to the disk every 60 seconds. However, this is configurable with the commit intervals and sync period sex options. Question 17. How can you achieve transaction and locking in MongoDB? Answer. To achieve concepts of transaction and locking in MongoDB, we can use the nesting of documents, also called embedded documents. MongoDB supports atomic operations within a single document. Question 18. What is aggregation in MongoDB? Answer. Aggregations operations process data records and return computed results. Aggregation operations group values from multiple documents together, and can perform a variety of operations on the group data to return a single result. MongoDB provides three ways to perform aggregation. The aggregation pipeline, the map reduce function, and single purpose aggregation methods and commands. Question 19. What is replication in MongoDB? Answer. Replication is the process of synchronizing data across multiple servers. Replication provides redundancy and increases data availability. With multiple copies of data on different database servers, replication protects a database from the loss of a single server. Replication also allows you to recover from hardware failure and service interruptions. Question 20. What are primary and secondary replica sets? Answer. Primary and master nodes are the nodes that can accept writes. Mongob's replication is, single master, only one node can accept write operations at a time. Secondary and slave nodes are read-only nodes that replicate from the primary.